What's up party people? I'm out here for a walk to film a last minute video. I had a whole other video that I was gonna show you, but it sucked and you deserve better. Okay, let's be fair to me, because some of you guys will go, hey, your video's great, Dave, it's not, it doesn't suck. It didn't suck. The video didn't suck, but it did not exactly convey the kind of message that I was looking for. It was a bit of a downer. <laughs> And no matter how hard I tried to not make it a downer, I, I just couldn't lift it up. So I decided, let's talk about something completely different because I want this to be fun. This video is probably gonna be a little bit off the cuff. I'm just gonna roll with this one because it's late. I should have gotten this thing out already, but since I scrapped the other one and started this new one, it's all gonna be just raw. Sorry, there's uh, chickens in the background. That's the risk you take when you are out here on a walking path. <laughs> Lots of social interaction that you didn't want, but you get anyway. <laughs> you knew the job was dangerous when you took it, Dave. So anyway, the old video again was about hating and, and trolls and, and people that try to interrupt our lives or people who spend their lives trying to interrupt others. I wanted it to be a positive video. I wanted it to be an uplifting video. I wanted to be able to say, hey, look, this thing happened and I got past it because I'm not going to let it hurt me because I got my first troll and it was it was like, whatever, man, you know, I'm just moving on, right? But it solidified within me the idea that what I'm doing is probably a good thing because I'm not all things to all people. There's certain people that just don't dig what I do and that's great because then it means that I know exactly who I don't want my videos to be pointed at. But what I do want to talk to you guys today about is opportunity and finding opportunity in the things that normally might hinder other people. So like say, there is an opportunity for me to learn from this guy who trolled me. There's an opportunity for me to grow from that. There's an opportunity to gain from that. I have to be open to the possibility of that. I have to be open to the opportunities when they come. So for instance, the YouTube drama that went down where everybody got demonetized. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it, but just be enlightened to the fact that you no longer are gonna see any ads on my videos because they took all the ads away, which was totally cool. They only did it for a certain subset of people and I understand why they did it and it didn't really matter that much to me because I wasn't making like, buckets of money on YouTube videos. I wasn't making hardly any at all. They took the ads away because they wanted to kind of clear the way for people who are actually invested in the space and take it away from the people who were just there to just kind of game the system, to throw up videos every once in a while, the people that are just posting up random crap. They want to get rid of all that. They want to give this opportunity to people who are invested and hopefully that helps me in the long run. Now it creates a new opportunity for me because one of the things that I was hindered by a little bit with the ads is that I wasn't able to fully express myself. I couldn't express 100% of my views. I couldn't speak in the manner that I want to. If I use the word fuck all too often, they might take my ad away. They might demonetize me anyway for it. And so it was like, yeah, okay, I'm doing this thing, I'm getting these ads in, but I had to kind of bend to their will a little bit. It didn't hurt at the time, but now I have nothing but opportunity. Now I have just a wide open space for me to do pretty much whatever I want, within reason. But I couldn't do crazy stuff that's gonna get me banned. <laughs> I just can do things that I don't have to worry about anymore that would take the ads away because I don't have the ads. Another opportunity that I'm taking advantage of. I'm gonna wait for that plane to go by. Another opportunity that I'm taking advantage of is the understanding that people aren't buying my big art or really any much of my small art. They're buying my goods. They're buying my things. They're buying the books. They're buying the mugs. They're buying the shirts whenever I post them up. And I need to embrace that idea that people are buying those things for me for whatever reason. Why those resonate with people more than my art is an interesting conversation for me to have maybe with some of these people or with myself. But what's important is that I recognize the opportunity. I see that if people want those types of things that I'm willing to make anyway, then let's go ahead and make those things and share those things. And I'm still gonna be making the art, I'm still gonna be posting the art, but to serve you guys, if there's anything that you want more, I'm gonna kinda lean that direction a little bit because, you know, 
I want to sell some things and I'm okay with making that stuff. It's not like selling out because I would have made it anyway. It's just now I'm selling it to the people that want it the most and I feel good about it. And finally, really seeing the opportunity in the fact that I like to change a lot. I like to pivot a lot. I like to move over here and do this thing, then go over here and do that thing, then go over there and do this thing, and then go back over here and then go there again and then come over here. I like to move around, realizing that instead of that being a bad thing, like some people might put that in, embracing it as something that is uniquely me and that only I can do and might as well do it and hopefully everybody here appreciates it too. I used to get oddly weirded out by the fact that I would want to move around so much, but then I realized that it's part of my strength that I can do this and that and this and that and this and that and be okay with it. I can move all around and be good in all of those spaces. Of course, certain ones I stick to, like I'm always here on the YouTubes, I'm always up on the Instagram, and I'm always gonna be doing art of some kind, but how it transfers into the things that I'm doing elsewhere, that's really what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna be okay with that, and I see it as an opportunity, and be able to express it in a way that people understand, that's just who I am. Some days you're gonna get big old canvases. Some days you're gonna get tiny little prints. Sometimes it's gonna be mugs and shirts and whatever. Sometimes it's just gonna be nothing but video content or whatever. Who's to say what the future holds for me? And that's okay. I can be perfectly okay with that because it all is part of what is the Dave universe. Don't you wanna be in the Dave universe? <laughs> oh man, I don't take myself too seriously, folks. <laughs> Please don't take me too seriously because I don't. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this one because I need to get back and put this up for you guys. And it's, uh, it's getting late in the morning. So remember, be good today, be better tomorrow. See ya.